Hello, artists. This week, we've been um, learning about Eric Carle. And I showed you a video yesterday, a little bit of him um, and how he makes his pictures. Today, I wanna give you the chance to paint your own Eric Carle picture. So if you have any kind of paint at home and plain paper, um, you're gonna need a paintbrush, some paint, paper, and then you're gonna, use, you're gonna also need like some materials to create some texture in your picture. If you don't have these materials at home and you want to make your own picture using the paper that I put in your materials packet, then you can also do that. So you don't have to paint if you don't have painting, painting supplies at home. You can always um, just use the paper that I put inside your baggie for you. If you do want to paint, then you can keep watching this video. So you're going to need some different colors and then you're going to need, um, she kind of shows it quickly in the book, but all, or in the video, but I'll go ahead and tell you in a little bit. You can start just painting your picture however you want to. You can use different colors, different textures. You can see how she's not really taking her time in the, in the video right here. She's kind of just painting different colors on her page. So you can kind of be free with it and you can paint however you want to. Different strokes, you can make them go up and down. You can make them go to side to side. You can put polka dots on there. Um, you don't wanna mix too many colors because you don't want your sheet to become brown or anything, but you can start with a few colors and just mix them kind of like she's doing here. And then once you have it all painted, you can find some materials at home, like I've used hair combs in the past or a water bottle cap or anything that can give you a little bit of texture on your picture. And then what you can do is um, you can create some little texture. Ooh, look, she's gonna use the back of her um, paintbrush. So she's gonna create some swirls on her page. You can create swirls, you can create polka dots, um, different circles, whatever you want on your page. And like you can use kind of like a comb or some sort of texture like that to give you squiggly lines. So you can create some sort of um, picture up and down, side to side, Whatever you wanna do, you can be as creative as you want with it and use different things around your house to um, help you make your picture. Now you can do this a few different times. Um, like she might be done with this one, she might go set that one to dry and so then you might start a new painting and you might use some different colors that you um, wanted to use more of, maybe more purple or more red, and then you can do the same thing and then you can let your painting dry. After you let it dry, um, then I'll teach you tomorrow how you can turn your paper that you created into a really cool picture. <laughs> 